We're gonna get like, dude, we're gonna get us. We're gonna get a GM. I'm not. Ah! Okay, so let's go round one. Let's play night, night, night of three. I guess I'll just play standard B3, E3, D4, C4. Let's go here and C4, I guess. I actually, I should have gone Bishop B2 right away. I don't know why I didn't do that. Let's go here. I'll just play Bishop B2 or three. Yeah, Konovets is, of course, Samuel Savian. Very talented uh, American junior player. Let's go D3, Knight D2, um, Queen E2, E4. CM means candidate master. It's like 2100. He car streams all day, so I can put off this assignment. Let's do it at 11:59. Um, I don't know. I might stream. I have a feeling I'm gonna be streaming for a long time today. Just a guess. I mean, we're already what? We're like four hours in or something? Yeah, four hours in. Do I play in these to stay sharp? I just play in them because I love chess. It's great content. You guys seem to. You guys show up every day, so I mean, why not? I don't know if it'll be a 24-hour stream, but I'm definitely. I mean, it could be a 24-hour stream. If I, if, I, if I get too addicted to Fall Guys, it actually might become a 24-hour stream. There's a chance that I might get addicted and just start playing Fall Guys. For, or not Fall Guys, sorry. Among Us, sorry. Sorry, I, yeah, I said the wrong game now. I meant Among Us, sorry. Wrong game. <laughs> I meant Among Us, sorry, you guys. Uh, I meant Among Us. Um, but yeah, I meant like Among Us. I, if, I, if I get really addicted and I start playing Among Us too much, I could totally see this turning into like a 24-hour stream or something super long. Make sure you have some Fulgris Instant near you. I have some instant coffee. Yeah, I got some instant coffee last week when I stocked up uh, from Walmart. I think it was Knight B6 interesting move. I assume I still just play the same kind of concepts, Rookie 1. I don't know which moves best here. Rook c1 is also a move. I think I'm actually going to play this rook to c1 to put pressure on the center. I'm going to take and go knight e4 at some point. But see, the reason I put this rook is so that I could do this this ploy, and the rook still guards. So even though it's very awkward putting this rook here, the whole point was to create this box. Okay, a4, however, I think is probably a bad. My bishop a5, I also have just b just b4 is probably good, but I don't know. I mean, I want to be precise. So here, so I go here, here, here. Bishop c7. I'm just going to keep it clean with b4. No bishop a5. I mean, bishop a5 maybe was good, but it's no point. Okay, let's just relax. Bishop b2. Um, just keep it very slow. I can always just redevelop the rooks. Um, come on, Igar. You're sponsored by Logitech. Time to get a new mouse. I have a, I have Logitech. This is Logitech, you guys. good move i'll go rook c2 and just double up here i'm probably gonna play c5 at some point but i, I want to okay so he does play d4 which I, I was waiting to see if he would play d4 or not i can play knight e4 but i think i should just go rookie one and i did did i just blunder i might have just blundered e4 he missed i think e4 might have been good for this this uh, nasty idea coming up um okay i'll go knight e4 i'll trade and then i hit the pawn on b7 Thank you to Mikey Two Guns for the Prime. Thank you to Die Krill for the Prime. Thank you to Alex Denon for the Prime. Thank you to Fishbuck Twenty Two for the Prime. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you to I Have Twenty Seven Cats for the three months. Thank you, Provolopa, for the ten. Thank you so much uh, for the resub. Um, okay, so I'm doing pretty well. I can just take the pawn. Okay, it goes G Four, but now I just eat the pawn, and I think I'm just winning because because I just have too much too much play here. Okay, he goes there. Now I can play c5, which I think I just will. Kick the knight, go here, here, and here. And it's pretty bad. I mean, he's losing the pawns. He can try to get something in the center, but it's just way too slow. That was it. Let's go here. Now I can just take, and I mean, everything is just winning. As long as I don't do something stupid, like a5... Just keep rolling. I think I just move my king. I just take and go rook d2. Oh, wait. Wait, but he can take... Oh, 
Whoa, oh, I might have blown. No, I guess I just go over. I'm okay. That was not a smart move. So let's just go. I just go here and take this pawn, and it's just winning. Yeah, it's reconnected, which just creates a winning formation. Just take. If d2, I just take. If rook here, I just take. Okay, I think. Now I can just use the pass pawns. The flying V formation, yes. And now A6, A7, of course, is just cleaning up. Make a queen with a checkmate. Okay, we win. Let's keep going. Let's watch some of the other games. Let's watch uh, the Big Fish game against... Um, he is playing against Dogapoleon. G3? Is G3 a move here, I wonder? Maybe it's a move. Actually, I... I I don't I don't want to see the evaluations. Maybe G3 is a move here. Hit the queen. Hit the knight. Um, I've never seen a promotion mate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I could have made it a bishop. Oh, I could have made it a bishop. I'm such an idiot. I could have made a bishop. Oh, that's very disappointing. Oh, I could have made a bishop. Style points missed, totally. Yeah, I totally missed style points there. Unfollowed, unsubbed, unborn. Right, Bishop would have been beautiful. Yeah. Very, very unfortunate. This game, meanwhile, is not clear, by the way. King, Queen e8, Queen e3, hit the knight, hit the pawn. Like, Queen e8, Queen e3 is not trivial. Yeah, I think, I think, oh wait, oh wait, no, sorry, the pawn hangs on b2, so no, I guess that is just clean. Knight e5. Or knight c5, but queen e3? Okay. Did I advance? This is, uh, those of you who are wondering, this is 10 rounds. Thank you, Ezra, for the gift of sub uh, to Rain and to uh, more EU than NA International. Thank you so much. Um, uh, what, what, what I would say is that in general, um, what was I going to say? Uh, this is 10 rounds. So top eight players go through to uh, a knockout for knockout bracket. So right now, no, that's right now we're just playing for uh, we're playing for top eight. Am I going to play Among Us with Levy? Uh, I could. I could. Did he say he drinks instant coffee? I do drink instant coffee. Yeah, what's wrong with instant coffee? You have a problem with instant coffee? Okay, so Big Fish wins um, as expected. Let's watch Sib Elephant. Sib Elephant is losing. He's actually losing. Oh, this could be a big upset to start. Whoa, Sib Elephant is losing this game here. A G4? G5? Oh wow, this could be a disaster. Knight, knight d4 I think is winning here. Knight d4 is a really nasty move here if he sees it. Oh wow, he does see it. Oh my gosh, he's just losing. King d3 and I mean he's just gonna he's just mopping up king d3 king c2 king b1 king c2 no but now a3 whoa now what okay yeah okay i guess this guy got too low on time he got too low on time and um he got too low on time and something happened that was winning though that was winning that was winning, of course. Yeah, yeah. I'm amazed he lost that, though. There was literally no way to lose that with a knight versus bishop. So let's let's watch. What else do we have going on? We have um, Parham as well. This is Parham. Parham loses. Oh my gosh, wow, Parham loses to a CM also. Oh my gosh, wow. So so Artemiev survives, but Parham um, does not survive. Wow, okay. It's kind of shocking. So I guess we'll just wait for the next round then, since there are only a handful of games.
So this is just really, really good here. Um, so yeah, we just keep rolling. These CMs, man, be careful. <laughs> Thank you to Mickey Ajanu for the three months. Thank you, appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you to Shannon for the 300 bits. Thank you to Boot Mills for the gift of sub. Thank you to Casey Veggies again for the 300 bits. Thank you so much. Thank you to Corblot for the five months. Playing IRL LHS stream. I want to beat the guy from the NY Times. IRL LHS stream. Okay. I mean, the problem is, like, I I, I don't... Is, is, there, is the reporter... I don't know if he's actually here in LA, but... Um, but yeah. Why do I drink so much water in your games? Because water is good for you. If you don't drink water, you're going to die. Of course you got to drink water. Stay hydrated. Okay, so let's let's see. There are no games. So we start round two. I play against Golubev. Okay, this is someone that I actually know quite well. Um, I've, I've talked to him a few times. Uh, I think we're friends on Facebook too, so... Playing Golubev here. Water is fake news, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna play the center counter anyway. <laughs> okay, I guess I go here on Bishop G4. Okay, I go Bishop G4, of course. Okay, now I'm gonna... Um, I think castle's supposed to be fine. Just queen a5, queen b6 is, is okay here. Thank you to Thax23 for the prime. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Has anyone else, de has anyone defended their title? Yeah, I mean, it's happened a few times. Oh, no, did I just blunder? I was supposed to go queen f5. Oh, no, I just blundered. Oh, no, I just blundered terribly. I was supposed to go queen f5. Okay, whatever. Okay, now I go to f5 anyway, and I just take. Although maybe d5 I take and go knight e5 anyway. This guy's very slow though. What's with the tank though, man? He's thinking forever here. What's with the deep tank? Okay, it goes bishop e3. Now, I know e5 is a move. I, I think just e6 is supposed to be fine, as is knight f6. I'm going to go knight f6 here. So if d5, I just take. And I think there's some trick. Okay, it goes knight d2. Interesting. So I think I will just play e6 here. I want to go bishop b4, maybe, or bishop c5, even. Maybe e5... Plays a3, interesting. So if I just play, okay, let's think about this. How do I do this? I have knight e4 here as a move. I can also just play like h5 or h6, g5. I'm just gonna play h6 and g5 here. I don't really know what Golubov's trying to play for exactly. So, I mean, I, I don't, I don't really understand what's going on in this game. Although I do know that I should be worse here. That much I do know. I'm gonna go g5. I'm obviously gonna take and play g4 at some point. They had Tim Cannon Poker for the four months. Thank you so much. Okay, now I take. Because I'm going to take. Yes, take. And then I go g4 and queen h5. This is very, very sharp, though. Is he trying to offer... Wait, did he offer a draw? I don't see a draw. Wow. What's with this? This guy is so slow. What's he... Go here. I mean, he goes g3, I guess. And then I take or play e5. Maybe just bishop g7, though. It's a little bit iffy. Whoa. What is this? If I take and I take? Wait, it takes, it's queen h4. I don't understand. I must be missing something. So I just take and I protect. Why is he thinking so long? Okay. 
Okay. Let me think for a second. I think E5 should be fine. Ah, that's a bad move. I should move the rook, maybe. Okay. Still so slow, though. C5. This is actually very dangerous. Can I go here, maybe? I can also just take, but that, that doesn't feel right. Let's go here. Ah, I went to the wrong square too, but I go here. That was a, mis just a mistake. What am I doing? I mean, this is crazy. Oh, I can't, oh, I can't go back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go here. I'm gonna try to win because he's got no time. Then go here, maybe. Oh, it doesn't even work. So he just he just takes d7. I'm losing my mind. Stupid. Stupid. Very stupid. Let me take a look at this game. I just want to take a quick look at this game. I just want to see how precise this was here. Oh, g3. I'm an idiot. g3 wins because the queen takes a bishop. Oh, I forgot about g3. g3 just wins. That was terrible. g3 just wins. That was horrendous. Is this really just winning? Yeah. G3 was just... Oh, that's, that's very bad. I should have seen G3. Uh, thank you, Enthusiast, for the Prime. Thank you so much. Yeah, that was really bad. Very, very bad. That was upsetting. I mean, at least it's a draw, but... Yeah, that was terrible. Can I flag him? No, we're playing with increments. There's no way I could flag. Flexing on bald people. No, I definitely am not. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the cutest GM of them all? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, no, I mean, I G3 was just a really obvious move. I'm pretty upset that I, uh, that I missed it, especially since I had so much time. Like, it's just such an obvious move. If I played G3, I just win. But, again... It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal because it's top eight qualify, and also sometimes when you draw early, you get um you get a uh, you get um you get easier pairing. So it's it's hit or miss kind of. It's not it's not really clear cut in a sense. F state, yeah, right. F state, yeah. Do I think Konovets will become the next car in the future? Um, I doubt it, and I say that mainly because what's happened with Sam is he's very talented. He's been improving. But the problem is he's improving at a, at a slower rate than is necessary, I would say, in order to get to the top. Um, because he's been in this 2650 range for... Um, he's been in this 2650 range for the last, like, three years, I feel like. So he's obviously very talented, very strong. But I don't think... Um, I, I feel like he's not... He's not improving at a quick enough rate to get to get there. Um, but he if he doesn't get to 20... He should get to 2700, though. If he doesn't get to 2700... I think that would be a little bit disappointing. I need a better call Saul for the uh, for the uh, two months. Thank you so much. Um, so Sevian, we're talking about Samuel Sevian Konovets, because I think he's already nineteen or twenty, right? He's not he's not young anymore. Um, how, how old is he? Let me take a look. He is he's gonna okay he's gonna be twenty. I mean this is kind of the thing. He's already in that age range where it's very tricky. Um, <laughs> okay, all right, okay. Now this, my friends, this is hilarious. This is pretty funny. Okay, this is pretty funny. 
Okay, this, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty funny. Okay. 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 Okay, she's gonna play this, this, uh, this McCutcheon, which I'm not really in the mood for. So I'm gonna play something more, more, um, I'm gonna play something simpler here. Okay, that's, okay, let's go 92 C3. I'm gonna go G4 and F5 here. Just take the pawn, knight g3, f5, h5. I just go king f2, knight g3, f5, next move. Okay, g6 is reasonable. I think f5 is still very strong, so I'm just gonna play f5 anyway. Okay, that's reasonable. I just go bishop e3, stop any threats here. I can always take if I want. Um, not super concerned. Um, I can obviously just take and take on a seven. Sorry, one second. I gotta play around with this. Okay, g five is probably just winning here. G h five is also good. Queen d three actually might just win on the spot, but I don't want to go queen d three, so I'm just gonna take and go knight f four. Let me move this over just a little bit. Go knight f four, hit the rook. Okay, now I just hit the rook, I hit the pawn, I just win. Okay, bishop h3 is strong. I mean, is g5 really a threat? Not really. So I just go here, hit the rook. g5 I just take and then I check and it's just game over. I can also take. What exactly does that do? I don't understand. I just take. If she takes, I just take with check. If she takes, I just take and I'm up a piece. Yeah, it's just game over. Take with the knight or the pawn, both moves are good. I'm just gonna take with the knight, keep it really simple. I think I'm just gonna throw in a chuck. I think I can chuck too, let's go chuck. Let's go chuck. Just rook c1 and that's game over. The pin is too strong. All right, we win, let's keep going. Every mo every message is showing twice. Um, I don't see I don't see messages showing twice. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Thank you to Mango Jassy for the five months. Thank you to Lars Boogie for the two months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Probably my Twitch bug. Okay, yeah, it could be. Anyway, three rounds in the books. We have seven more seven more rounds to go. I'm not seeing messages twice, so it could be there could be some some issue um, in in terms of it. But yeah, let's like we just keep going. All right, so we keep going. All right. How is Nordebeck always top of Tuesday? He's 15 years old. Uh, he's a, he's a very good chess player. That's why. 
Can we watch other games? Sure. Um, let's watch Sib Elephant since he's playing right now. Um, he is slightly worse here, but I think he'll probably be able to hold this. Just like King F. I thought B5 was maybe a better move. I don't like B6. Um, like this is just 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 uh, this is just bad. Bad for Black actually. Quite bad potential. Although Rookie Five maybe holds. Actually, this might be really bad. There's a Knight D3 trick coming at some point. Unclear. Okay, knight d3, rookie eight, rookie one. Oh, oh, that's a slip. Oh my gosh, what was that? Rookie one and white just wins. Just rookie one. Rookie one is probably game over. Oh, Levy is playing Gata? Oh, well, we got to go to Levy's game then. Where is Levy? Gotham. Gotham chess. Where is Gotham chess? I don't see Gotham chess. Where is Levy? Got uh, um, Gotham chess. I don't see it right off. Am I blind? Gotham chess. Gotham chess. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Let's watch this game. Okay. So what is going on? Gotham Chess. Levy is playing against Gata. Unfortunately, Levy is doing very poorly. The knight is very... Rook C6 is... Oh, ouch. Oh, no, there's Rook C... Oh, no, but there's Queen A6. Oh, Levy. No, but G Gata misses it. He takes the pawn. He doesn't grab it. Now Queen A6 and it's game on. Come on, Levy. Queen A6. Come on, Levy. You're better than this. Queen A6. Okay, maybe Bishop A6. I mean... He's still actually not... Trade opposite color bishops, dude. You're... Draw. Take the draw. Take the draw. You take. Draw. He's gonna draw. He's gonna draw now. There's no way Levy loses this, right? Yeah, and just, just G4. G4. Close it. G4. King E5? G4. Oh, Levy blundered this. Now G4. Maybe it's a draw still? It's this is G4 takes. This is still a draw. You gotta go, you gotta go, Levy. That's a bad move. Now Levy's gonna lose. Terrible technique by Levy. Take? No, come on, Levy! Dude, what is what's wrong with Levy? So bad. Why did he do this? I mean, no, but he has three seconds. But I mean, you just go g4 and you pre-move g4 and you bring the king back. Like it's just an easy pre-move. I mean, this is just basic technique. You just pre-move g4. Like you can say I'm being critical, but like g4 is such an obvious move. With five seconds, one second, ten seconds, it's an obvious move. Um. It, it's very because basically you go g4 the king never has a box and you just keep the bishop forever and you pre-move 20 pre-moves in a row that i'm disappointed in levy for that i'm not gonna lie i'm disappointed i'm disappointed in levy <laughs> i'm not gonna lie um that is disappointing anyway next round should be starting in a second um actually gotta already give up a draw too though gotta give up a draw as well Ferugia lost to Krikor? Oh, wow. Wow. Ferugia lost... Oh, man. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the, the reason that it is that it's an easy draw is because what happens is you bring the king back, and you can just wait forever. You just keep the bishop here. King has no escape, and the king can never cut and cross the diagonal to the queen side. So you make 20 pre-moves in a row, and it's a draw. Krikor beat Ferugia. Anish lost to an IM. Wait, what? what is going on here? What... Okay, Konovets wins. Um, so wait, so Anish lost the game? Wow, sounds like there's a lot of weird stuff going on. Wow. Brutal. Okay, let's watch Leon Beast. 
Okay, Maxime gives up a draw too, so everybody's giving up points early. Maxime draws. Um, Iams are revolting, yeah. Jeez, what is going on? So he draws, what about... Okay, Arjun loses. Arjun Aragasi, 3,040 loses. Okay, so a lot of... Wow, a lot of weird stuff going on. Okay, now this is the guy who beat somebody, right? Who did this guy beat? He beat someone really good um, in round one. Who did this guy beat? Let's go D4. This guy beat Parham, okay. CM and he beat Parham, okay. Let's let's, let's be careful then. Let me go C4 and Knight D3. Let's go Queen E2, Rook D1. B3 is a move, F4 is also a move. I'm just gonna go B3, Bishop B2 here. Let's go Rook C1. I'm gonna go Queen. Oh, this is a terrible move, probably. I don't. Yeah, it's maybe okay. H3 is probably a better move to play. I've gotta re re reactivate my knight, so somehow. Yeah, this is going to turn into some kind of... I'm just going to go back. Maybe F3 next move. Go F3, Queen F2. Maybe F4 at some point as well. It's not great. I'm going to remove the Queen. I think King H1 at some point is required, but maybe not right away. So I'm going to go Rookie 1 here. So on e5, I just move the knight. Okay, g6, I play rook d1. If e5, I still can drop back. I still need to make sure these pawn breaks favor me, basically. He's beaten Parham, Lanyo, and Pultin and Vetches. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Let's just sidestep. Let's go knight e2, maybe? I've got to move fast then. Okay, if he's beaten three gems in a row, I'm going to have to play fast here. He does this. I thought I had knight e3 here, maybe. And knight c4. Because now I have knight, knight e5 also. Because queen a7. That's actually a very good move. I'm going to play knight c3 and bishop c4, though. Not Queen H4, let's focus. Queen E2, Bishop H6. I'm gonna go Queen E2 here. Let's take. Gotta control the middle of the board here. Bishop C1, Bishop E3, maybe. He goes knight h5, so I can take, I guess. I'm gonna go queen d2, though. Maybe knight d5 or knight d6 next move. I think I can play knight e2, maybe. i just go knight e2, maybe. I do have bishop a3 here, maybe. I'm going to play it. So d5, I just take. Okay. I'm going to just go knight c3 and knight d5 here. If d5, I just take. Okay, I'm gonna go knight a4, I think, here to go knight b6. I still have bishop b2 at the right moment as well. Goes rook b8. Now bishop b2 looks like a... I think I'm gonna start moving faster though. I just gotta move fast and really put pressure on him on the clock. Go 
here. Now I do have bishop e5. Is this winning? We got no nonsense. Let's stay really focused. D e5 is no good. So six bishop f6. I don't see it. Now I go here and knight d5. Now I win the game. Okay, plays rook c5. I think a4. Take six, six, six. This should be winning. Because now I get bishop d4. Okay. Actually, queen e1 simpler. Because I have bishop d4 at the end. And I just win. Now, knight d5, I think I go b4. And I hit the rook. Take. And now d7. He's still got queen b3, so I'm really not I'm not in, in any kind of laughing mode here. So just keep keep playing the best moves. Let's go queen e3 here. Let's go here. Okay, queen d8 is reasonable. I'm just gonna go queen d5, knight e5 here. Let's go here. If takes, I just take. If I get knight c6, I'm gonna make another queen. I'll pre move this. He won't take, but I'll still pre move it anyway. And now I just take. He moves the queen, and I make another queen. Just go here. Just play h3, create some squares. Go here, queen c8 now, and that's all she wrote. Takes. Go here, and now d8 queen. Go here. Cut the king, rook e8, and he resigns. We win the game. Move to three and a half out of four. Um, and we will start the next game, I think, pretty soon. Pro Wait, no, what is this? The wrong game. Um, let's see, what are the standings? Big Fish is on 4 out of 4, so I'm on 4 out of 4, too. So, or not 4 out of 4, I'm on 3.5 out of 4, so can't complain. But I think we, we get a break. So I'm going to take a short break, and I'll be right back, you guys. Yes, yeah, so I, I wasn't joking about Monaco. There are no taxes in Monaco, but when I when I, when I I think I looked at property there a long time ago just for fun, it was like $5 million to buy like a 500-square-foot apartment, like like what you get in New York City, but it's like $5 million for like, like a super small place. Like, just for fun, just for fun, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like $5 million for like a 500-square-foot um when it's 500 square foot like thing there's a rental property tax in monaco okay but yeah i just saw it, it was like 500 it's like 5 million for like a 500 square foot place and i was like wow there are no no wonder they have free taxes when you when you have to pay five million dollars just to get like a 400 four or 500 square foot apartment it's like yeah now now i see why i was actually about to play the budapest who is this who is this dude is this uh this looks like um what's his name this looks like uh, Ivan Shaparinov, or is this Jobava? Who is this? Oh, it's, wait, why is Jobava allowed to play on multiple accounts? Didn't he play on a different account last time? I could have sworn he was on a different account last time I played him. I didn't think that was allowed. He definitely played on some other random account um, last time. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. We just play chess. He plays 92. Um, I'm going to do this line. Let's go here. D5. Okay, so I think here D6, E5, and A5. That's supposed to be the right order. But yeah, I, I should not be wasting time in the opening. I should just focus. Let's go E5, D5, A5, of course. He's going to go D5, I'm sure. I'll pre-move it, but he, he's not going to take, yeah. Okay, it's pretty standard so far, I would say. I mean, I can take... C5 is kind of interesting. Takes is also interesting. But I assume what I want to do is maybe just go here and bishop d4. Hit the knight right away. Put immediate pressure on his center. Let's 
Still theory so far. Thank you for that. Yeah, this is this is pretty well known stuff. Um, I mean, rookie eight is play. I think I should actually play g6 and h5 maybe and just attack. It's a little bit sketch, but his knight is pinned, so he can't actually bring the bishop to take advantage. And I'm just gonna go h4 and attack. And he plays h4, I can go knight h7. Because the problem for white is this bishop targets a knight. I also have knight d7 at some point. This actually looks quite reasonable for me. Okay, it goes bishop f3, logical. I thought I could play bishop g4, maybe. h4, knight e2 is definitely not what I want. Let's think. Knight g4, h3, takes, takes. And let's think. Bishop g4, takes, takes. I know I should be okay here. I just don't know the right mechanism. I don't know the right mechanism. So I think I'm just going to take first. Force him to trade. He's got to take back. And then maybe I just move the knight. Pretty dry though, I would say. Whoa, he takes with... I was not actually... I must admit, that was not a move I was expecting. That really surprises me. Okay. That's very surprising to me. Now I think I can just drop back and go back and play f5. I can also take and play. Oh, he's got this. Oh, I forgot about that actually. I thought he had to. Ah, I thought he had to go back. Now this is gonna get bad in a hurry. I also have bishop f5, which I should have played right away. Okay, but he takes. Yeah. I just blundered this. Maybe I just take bishop f5 maybe. Or do I go f5? f5 d6 is that. f5 d6 is that really bad? Let me think. I'm gonna play it. Cause d6 I go here, here takes I guess. Doesn't look right somehow, but uh, maybe it's okay. Okay, I can play e4. I can also take, but then he has bishop b4. I can also just go knight a6 maybe. I really misplayed this though. Oh, this is gross. I have to go e4. And he just drops back and he's got bishop c4. Maybe maybe I can go knight d7. Maybe I should take that pawn. Because the problem is also I have this diagonal too. I really... I misplayed this with the one move. I, I mean, like, basically at this position after bishop f3, if I don't take on d5, it's fine. But once I blunder knight b5, it just gets really bad. Um, and there's just not much I can do. But I'm going I'm to gambit in exchange here. We'll see how it goes. Takes, I guess I take back with one of my knights. I'm going to take with... This knight, I guess, this is just garbage though. D6, queen, c5, maybe. This is just absolute garbage. Pure garbage. Maybe, what? Place queen d4, interesting. Let's take and go here. Knight e8, maybe, at some point. Still is probably loot. So I go here. Hit the pawn. If d7, I just take. Knight b5, maybe bishop d7. Knight c7, like rook d8. Probably losing here, but maybe maybe I have ways to draw this. I want to somehow play like. I'll go here. If knight a7, I just go here. Okay, I'll go here now. Not so bad, maybe. Okay, goes rook d1. It's not, it's not so bad. Think about this. I can play rook c8. I can also just go like b6. I'm just gonna go here. I'm moving too slowly, though. So. I have rook c2. Two, two bishop f1, I just lose the pawn. So. F4, E3, maybe? I'm going too slowly this game. Knight G4, bishop B5. I go here. Oh, I'm moving too slow. I've got 25 seconds. Why am I thinking so long? What am I doing? King up and take. What am I doing? Or I can just blunder knight c6 instead. I'm just not even thinking for some reason. Ugh, ridiculous. So, 
move here, 97 I guess. Do I block with the back? Actually no, I block. Moving too slowly in general though. Maybe I can not draw, let's go here. Nah, I just lose, I guess. Let's go here. I should have gone to F6 too. I thought I can be. Actually, I've got this, maybe. Oh. Let's go here. I just lose anyway. It's got rook d4. It's garbage. That was absolute garbage. If I just don't take on d4, I'm completely fine. It's terrible. It's really garbage. If I if I just if I if I don't do this, basically I'm completely fine, but I just played a terrible that was just terrible. That was just terrible game. That was probably the worst game I've played in a while in this. Um, also to play King F7 was really really bad because basically he misplayed this with Bishop B5. I could have traded and gone knight d7. I'm so much worse, but the game goes on. That was just really really poor. Very very bad. Um and I also was way too slow that game too. Like for no reason. I can still win out, I guess. I mean, it's only round five, but yeah, really, really bad. Very bad. Yeah. I can still make top eight if I win out, although my, my tie breaks are going to be totally terrible. Um, so, yeah. I have to win out, though. But I'll get easier pairings, hopefully. Um, uh, it's four games, luckily. It's not five. Five makes it unlikely. Or I can stop and play Among Us. Yeah, I actually will probably play Among Us. Some days it's just not there. Is Fusli going to cut my hair? I Actually, I should reach out to her and see again on that if that's going to happen or not. Uh, but maybe, yeah. I said that last time. Yeah, but I mean, I'm playing much... Like, last time I played badly, but I'm playing much worse today. I'm playing significantly worse than I played, um, than I played last week and I won. Knight c4, knight c6, king g5. Just losing. Knight d3, yeah. This is called Title Tuesday. That's the name of this tournament. Thank you, Shelf, for the six months. Thank you so much, Shelf. Appreciate it. Thank you. Why was rook d4 at the end a good move? Because the knight has no squares. I mean, the position was very messy up until about here. Once I blundered knight b5, I mean, for some reason I forgot that you could actually take with the e-pawn. Um, but here I bet I was better if I turn on the valuation. Um, 98.5? Okay. 98.5 over a 50 move game? That seems exorbitantly high, actually, over a 50 move game. Yeah, mine is 92. 98 over 50 moves seems surprisingly high, though. That's abnormally high over 50. 20 moves, anyone can be 90%, 99%, by the way, just to be clear. Although, that's not actually why I'm looking at the game. I'm looking at the game because I'm curious about this position. Okay, so every move up to this point is basically perfect. Wow, okay. Anyway, let's keep going. Let's play g6, bishop g7. Maybe d6, e5. Knight f6, knight c6, knight d7. At least I get an fm. If I get, if I get double black, getting black is good. Wait, what is... 
guess I'll play e yeah. Play e5 here. What score does Ali Reza have? I don't actually see him in the top list right now. Okay, please bishop g5, which I think is wrong. Let's go here. If takes, I just take. Knight d2. Okay, we're gonna play. I've got to play a5 first. Stop b4. Probably g4, maybe knight d7, knight b6. Um, I'm gonna go knight d7, knight b6 maybe. Okay, let's go knight b6. I had this in some game not so long ago. Um, h4 is a good move too. So let's just go here. Let's see, 6 I'm obviously gonna trade. And actually no, I'll play a4 so I can take or go with this. Probably a mistake anyway, though I should have left it. Now I get b4. Although I guess I just take and go back. It's not so bad. Dubov said he thought it was weak that you and Jan were like best friends after your Twitter beef. Is is that is that is that a serious quote? Seriously, Spirit Tapper? Is is that for real? Thank you, TNU Fian for the tier one. Thank you, Ayanko for the prime. Thank you, Bill Wilton as well for the prime. Thank you so much. Hmm. Well, I I don't want to talk about that because there's something that I could say about Dubov that I, I that I'm not gonna say, but I could say. So I, I don't really want to get into that right now. Okay, I can play knight b4, but I'm just gonna go queen c7 and rook c8 here. Is he really playing b4? I don't know if he is. I, I mean, I don't want to go c5 because then the position gets locked. Maybe I go knight b4 though. I always play c5 here. Good night before. You just take and play like c5. Again, very hard to win this game. Okay, I guess I just trade. And take. It's gonna be hard to win this game. Ah, but maybe I get some nice C2 play, maybe. Uh, or maybe I just have nothing. It's also possible. We'll go here. Maybe Queen D8 was Queen D8 and Rook D8 was better. Ah. There's Rook C1. I'm just gonna try to play on here. Again, I have to win the game, so I don't mind if I make bad moves, because I just have to keep pieces on the board and try to win. Let's go here. If he takes, I just take. Is this really a threat? No, it's not a threat. Okay, I'm just gonna come back around this way. Maybe B5. Maybe I should just play B5 right away. I guess I'll just go here. I don't mind. He can just take. I don't care. What's with the thinking here? Dude, you gotta move. Okay, he takes. Oh, and I just blundered rook a7, which he'll see, of course. Okay, he's low on time, so maybe he won't see it. But... Go here. Go here. Okay. 
like that. So here. Finally a blunder. Finally he makes a blunder, jeez. Or is it a blunder? Oh, this might not even be a blunder. Good. Finally, good. Okay. <sighs> Thank you to Taurus for the four months. Thank you so much to Taurus. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you to Shelf again for the six months. Thank you to thank you to my name is Prompt. Thank you, you guys. Appreciate the resubs and new subs. Thank you so much. Um, no, I didn't get tilted from the draw. The draw didn't tilt me. I mean, I played a bad game against Jobava, and he took with the e pawn, and that happens. And then this game, well, this game is what it was. Gotta win one more though, right? This is round six or round, this is round six. So I have to win four. So that's one of five. One more until we have another break. Thena Zook the Nuke for the two months. Thena Zook the Nuke. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you for the resub, man. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. Okay, a bunch of people on six. That's not really the issue right now. The issue is just getting the top top, um, top eight. Thank you to Rumbeard X for the Prime. Thank you so much, Rumbeard X. Thank you. Thank you to O for Real for the Prime. Thank you to Mooney06 for the Tier 1. Thank you so much. Not many on five and a half, though. Yeah, yeah. If I if I win out, I'll I'll qualify probably for sure based on based on the general breakdown of what the scores are. Um, but but we'll see. Yeah, ninety three and White's probably winning this, but the, but he had no time. Play solid chess? No, solid chess is going to work because I already gave up one and a half points. So I have to basically win out. That's the only way. Every TTIC big names like MVL, Giri, Ali, Res, but they never end up in the top eight. Interesting. I don't always end up in the top eight either. It's a very tough format. Um, Do I care about the rating? Not particularly, no. Um, doesn't really matter that much to me. Oh, I care. I, I don't care about the rating, but I care about the money. Okay. <laughs> All right, next round should be starting in... I, there's something messed up. Let me reload this. Hopefully this doesn't disconnect me. I don't think it will, though. Okay, let's... There's something... Okay, there we go. Now the games are showing up correctly. Okay. Um, There are only three left, though, so I'll just wait. What places win dollars top eight? Top eight players. Will I ever hit 3,300 again or are you washed up? I could, but there's deflation going on. There's deflation going on in the pool right now. Like if you see Ali Reza, for example, he, he's very he's twenty. I mean twenty nine eighty five. Like 
I'll, if Ali Reza was 3,050, 3,100 like he should be, then I could play him and probably gain points if I beat him. But at 2,985, I'll only lose points to him. Same goes for Big Fish, 3,014. Definitely underrated as well. Sib Elephant, uh, or Tammy, if he's 3,120, which is reasonable, but he also was pushing like 3,175, 3,180 not so long ago so everybody is everybody's like on everybody's like there's deflation going on so um if people start getting their ratings back up to where they should be then um i, I have a shot but with where the ratings are right now i don't 33 i don't think 3300 is realistic thank you crabigator for the 300 bits thank you so much thank you decaying skulls for the prime thank you man appreciate it um thank thank you so much everybody thank you to ggs for the seven months as well i think i missed that okay um okay let's play night of three let's keep it slow and simple my record is 3332. What is the cause of the rating deflation? I don't know actually. I don't know what the cause is. Um but there definitely is deflation I've noticed for sure. Or wait, no, no, I guess I just castle. Big fish is not Magnus. Big fish is um Vladimir Fedoseyev. Okay, I'll take with the knight here, just C4, knight, C3. Oh, is this guy on YouTube or something? I think he is, it looks like it. Let's go see for Gascon, chat, YouTube. Gascon. Okay, let's go here, I'll just take. I had bishop f3 too, which was better. Maybe I take with a pawn? This looks weird, but I'm going to do it. Because the, 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 the situation of the tournament is not in my favor, so I'm going to take with a pawn to create imbalances. Normally, I would just take with a queen. Um... D594 could be annoying. I'm gonna go here, put pressure on the pawn, maybe. And rookie one. This looks very pleasant for white, especially if I can get D5 in here. And rookie one. Let's go here, pressure on the pawn. At B5, I just take. Considering the tournament situation, this is about the best that I can hope for. Can I still make top eight? Yeah, if I couldn't make top eight, I wouldn't be playing. So I totally think I can. Okay, queen d2 looks queen d2 looks fine. Just solidify, double stack, maybe h3. But I was worried about some b5. Now I can play a4, but b5 does not actually concern me. So I'm willing to give him b5 because I can rotate the knight back around. I think this is a mistake objectively because now I can rotate the knight. He's got no way to jump with his knight, so my knight's going to control the critical squares before his knight controls the critical squares. Gascon is really nice. Um, Big Fish gatekeeped Magnus when he came to trollchess.com. That's true. And Magnus tried to set a record um, when he created that random account, something Garden, more Garden, or whatever it was. Um, Big Fish pretty much just spanked him. Gave him a, gave him a pretty harsh beating, I think. Um, and that's why Magnus could not get to number one. Menu Garden, right. I think that DJ DJ is 27. Um, as well, thanks so much. Okay, knight d4, bishop d4. I think it's knight d4, it's got to be right, just to jump with the knight. And now what I want to do is maybe just double up and put max pressure on the pawn on e7. What part of Pennsylvania is your family from? Well, I mean, one second, I take, of course. I have to play n peasant. He takes with the pawn. I knew this was coming. I think I just want to go rook d1, but then e5, but then knight c2, but then e4, but then bishop e2. I think rook d1's got to be right. Just max pressure again in the mid lanes here. Um, and I think I'm doing well. Okay, I go back. I have queen d6. Oh, no. Did I just blunder again? No, wait. e4, bishop e2. e3, knight e3. Knight e4, check. Bishop e6. Takes, takes. It's still okay, I guess. I thought I might have just blundered. No one checks like Gascon. No one wrecks like Gascon. No one has traps that players suspect like Gascon. Okay, thank you for that pet frap. Thank you so much. <laughs> anyway, okay. Uh, I've got knight before knight e3. I don't know which one's better. Knight before in knight before feels more natural. Knight e3 also looks very true and blue though, because now there's max pressure again. Now I can take here. I can also go bishop e2. I can also just take f6. Bishop f6, knight e5. Yeah, I think I... Takes must be right because I have the in-betweener to hit the queen and the bishop. Um, you gotta sing it right. Oh, is that a song? Is Gascon a song? Oh, is that, is that a song? I'm sorry if I'm ignorant. It feels like some French song or something, but maybe I'm wrong. 
Okay, but now I hit him with the in-betweener. I hit the queen, and I got this check, too, with the fork. Oh, it's from Beauty and the Beast? Oh, okay. Sorry, I don't, I don't watch. <laughs> I don't watch Beauty and the Beast. Sorry, you guys. Okay, I can take and check. I can also play Rook C1. Um, okay, let's take a deep breath. Relax. <sighs> Rook C1 also is probably winning too, I just realized. Um, but I think this is the cleanest way because there's no Queen G5 because I cover. So this feels like the cleanest way to win. And takes, I have rook e7. If, if, he, if he tries to take, I just check and collect the bishop. His king is too open for there to be any real attacks on my king. So I think we're headed for another victory. So if I take queen g5, that's no good. So I can just check, force the queens off. If he goes here, I check. This should just be pretty cleanly winning. He's also got no time. Thank you to Somnic for the 300 bits. Thank you so much, Somnic. Let's just get rid of them queens. Um... Queens are nothing but a hassle. Let's go rook h7, and um, I think I just win here because I have rook d3. Even king g2 is winning. Um, I mean, I guess I just go king g2, and it's just winning. Um, okay, we win the game. Another win. Up to <laughs> five and a half out of seven. Um, as a cinephile, I'm in Hikar. As a cinephile, I'm disappointed. Okay. All right, you guys, time to take another break. Freshen up. We got three more games to go and got to win them all. So I'll be right back. All right. All right. So so in the meantime, by the way, you guys, I just had a thought. So so as, as I went to go use the restroom, I had a thought. So in Among Us, if, if you're part of the crew, I was wondering if it makes some sense to um, if it makes some sense to actually to be separate and do the tasks at the far edges of the map, because if you do the tasks at the far edges of the map, even if you're not a good liar and you die, um, doesn't that mean that it's pretty clear though that you're not part of that group is like the group of three or whatever at the, at the uh in the same spot because that makes it more likely um that that like it's on the other that the that the um that the killer or, or the imposter is really close right it just uh it means you can die in the body isn't found no but i mean i mean if you're separate like doesn't that theoretically mean i uh, maybe i'm wrong no i'm wrong okay okay maybe i'm just wrong i just had a thought for some reason i just thought about that it's a net loss if you die without information. True. That's okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. There are vents. Okay. Oh, that's true. The vents actually. Yeah. No, you're right. I forgot about the vents. You're right. You're right. I forgot about the vents. That's a good point. That's a good point. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If no one is around, they can go to a different, different part of the map. That's true. Okay, okay. That's true. No, that's a good point. Hmm. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's good for the crew to trade one to one because they're two imposters and eight normals, right? Yeah. That's a good point, yeah. Uh, Among Us is not solved, but thank you for that suggestion. Um,. Did I enjoy it? I did enjoy it. I'm going to play more. I'm going to play more. Totally. Afterwards, I'm going to play more. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to jump into a queue and play more later. Yeah, totally. Get good at lying? Right. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, we're still going, though, in Title Tuesday. I just... For some reason, I just had a thought. I don't know why. As I was going to the restroom, I just had a, had a theoretical thought about, about Among Us. I don't know why, but I just did. Show us the leaderboard, please. Okay, here's the leaderboard. A couple of, couple of people on 7 out of 7. They should qualify, but not completely clear-cut. GM Among Us Lobby, make it happen. Um, Yeah. Uh, on the kill, you should go over some next to you and then take the vent. Right, this is true. Yeah, that's true. Love your streams so much. Thanks for streaming every day. Thank you, Akido. Glad you enjoy it. Um, thank you, Mr. Pac-Man28 for the prime. Uh, no, I did not accuse Joe Bob of cheating. Uh, he had a high accuracy over 50 moves, but I didn't say he cheated. Like, seriously. Stop, stop spreading lies. Hikaru is a very good liar and will be great at Among Us. 
Is that an insult or a compliment? I think that's an insult. I think that's an insult. Or that's an insult. I think <laughs> that's an insult. That's not. That's not. That that's definitely not a positive. That's not a positive. That's not. That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, I think it's a compliment, but I wouldn't say it to someone. Why is it a compliment if you're being accused of being a liar? Poker is not the same because poker, it's incomplete information and you don't have to talk. Which actually I would say is one thing. If you're not, if you're re relatively new to poker and you play live, um, you can very easily just talk too much and give away certain things. The art of deception, if a talent. Okay. Anyway, I think we're on a break, so I'll just talk to you guys for a little bit, and we'll just chill. Tell the man he's good at a game, be accused of insulting him. That's unfair. <laughs> okay, good one. People who talk live in poker during a hand always have a strong hand that's not true there was a good hand between um there was a good hand from the world series where jamie jamie gold won where there was a hand he had against alan cunningham where he talked too much like cunningham was going to fold to his shove and then i think i think gold spoke too much and he actually gave away too much information i forget what, it, what the hand exactly but um but yeah So, so yeah, that's that's what I, I remember that hand. There's that hand between Alan Cunningham, who, by the way, does play chess, um, and, and Jamie Gold. Negrano talks a lot. Yeah, but Negrano is such a such a pro. I mean, he he's he's great at it. Uh, Negrano is just amazing. I Is he the best player of all time? Probably not. I mean, I have a feeling when all is said and done, somebody like Fedor Holtz or Dan Smith will probably be considered better players because of their... their um, their overall caches and gen generally how how well they finish in a lot of tournaments but um but i would say yeah i would say there's phil ivy too of course um but yeah fedor i think for me is when all of a sudden done will be will be considered um probably a better better player than um than the negranu phil helmuth does not fall into that discussion we all like to see his blowups but phil helmuth is not um not not in that conversation Let's let's leave it at that. If, if yeah, let's leave it at that. Um, <laughs> Phil Helmuth is not in that conversation. I'm sorry, but yes, yes, Helmuth probably thinks he's in that conversation, though. I mean, he definitely probably thinks he is in that conversation. Um, Helmuth can participate in Tilted Tuesday. He could definitely participate in that event for sure. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, um, okay. I know there probably are a lot of poker people watching, so I should actually be a little bit more chill. Thank you to Bellstown for the six months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, but yeah. Anyway, um, we should be starting pretty soon, round eight coming up. I've tried poker on stream, but there I can only play on a handful of sites, and it's just it's not that enjoyable with the blind structures. Thank you, National Gaming, for the Prime as well. Thank you so much. Thank you, Coda Nova, for the four months. And thank you to Brady Head for the four months as well. Thank you, you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you to Andrea M twenty one twelve for the three hundred bits. How many are on six out of seven? A fair chunk. 25th to six out of seven, um, and fifth is so yeah, so 21 on six, two on six and a half, two on seven. It's good they're only two on seven though. So tiebreakers uh, are determined by the total score of your opponents. My tiebreaker is met. Well, it's pretty early still though. If you act salty the whole time playing Among Us, they will never know when you're actually upset. <laughs> yes, I'm going to be salty and be upset the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm, I'm more excited to play uh, play Among Us than to play the next three rounds. Not going to lie. 
Um, I, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but seriously, I'm, I'm kind of more... I'm kind of more excited for that than I am for the next three games. <laughs> bad attitude. It's a bad attitude. <laughs> if you play calm the whole time, they won't know either. That's also true, yeah. Become a full-time Among Us streamer like XQC. Well, what's my career career record? I'm two and zero as a um, as crew. I'm zero and one as um, I'm zero and one as uh, as an imposter because that was my first game and I literally I chopped someone's head off when it, we were in a group of three. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Anyway, we should be we should be starting in a second. Um, still still on a break, it looks like. I that was a hell of a kill though. I saw that clip. Yeah. <laughs> Nesua is always calm and very good at Among Us. Yeah. What? Wait, that clip already has twenty k views. Which one? The one where I just chopped the head off? Really? Really? Okay. Oh my gosh, it's on Reddit. Oh jeez. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's, like, it's on Reddit already? Oh jeez. Okay. Um Oh my gosh. <laughs> I like one of the comments. It says he sets himself up as a fool for the first imposter round, and then he'll still be considered one later on when he's chopping up people in other rounds of playing like a god. Actual five head. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> I can't believe that made it to Reddit. Okay, here we go. Round, um, this is round eight, I guess. Okay, so let's see. So I'm going to play... I've got to win, so I've, I've got to play D5. Okay. We're going to get an imbalanced position, which is all I can ask for at this point. Thank you to Stapu Vansway. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. Okay, I think on this one, I can play knight b6 and play traditional, but I'm just going to go back and play like non traditional, like a5, knight d4. Um, thank you to Tay is me for the tier one as well. Thank you to Crackhead Chess for the five months. Thank you so much. I don't know if I like, I don't understand this move. What does this do? Is he really trading? I have c5, but I think I just play knight c6 here. Maybe f5 and bishop e6. Let's go a5 here. Okay. I think I just go here. I still want knight d4. I'll pre-move this. Let's go here. If knight e4, okay, does this. I have knight d4 here, which I think is pretty good. So I just take and go bishop d5, probably. He can't move the knight either. He can't really push the pawn of this. I think I'm doing pretty well. Who am I playing Among Us with later? I'll just go into one. I'll just jump in a queue with uh, with other streamers um, in Discord and play. I think I'm doing pretty well in this game. Thank you to Wood sixty eight sixty eight for the Prime. Thank you to me again for the Tier One. Okay, he does take, so I go bishop d5, of course. If knight b5, just c6. So he has to go here, I go here, and then I think I have f5 maybe, or b6. This looks kind of dangerous for my opponent. I should play with Wardell. Oh, okay. I could, t I could totally play with Wardell. He's got bishop f4, which I completely forgot about, though. I'll go c6 here. I mean, f5 is still a big threat, as is g5, by the way, now. Let's think about this. I've got to make this messy. That's the main thing. So g5, f5 is a move. Rook a2 actually looks strong. k2, rook b2. Think about this. 
I go f5, knight c5, a trade, takes, takes. Shack and v6, that looks reasonable, shall we say? If I take and go b6, yeah, I think I should. Hmm. Yeah, because f5, knight d2, he loses a piece. But he has bc6, which I forgot about. Shoot. I can also play g5. I think I should play g5. It's got to go back and then maybe f5. I don't know if it's right. Problem is if I... Oh, what's... I was not expecting that. What's this? Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll get to that, dude. Um, let's go f5 and take. Just take. Wait, if I take he um I'm gonna just take and take. Sorry. Sorry you guys, I gotta focus. Give me a second, sorry. It's gotta take, I take a knight c5 if he loses the juicer. There's knight d2, that's a good move, I missed that. Probably I can't win now, this is the problem. Rook c8, queen e1, queen d3. Okay, I just gotta move, what am I doing? Just frickin' move. Let's go here, hit the queen. Oh, I gave knight c wait, no, then I have b5 maybe, okay. Let's just go here, hit the knight, pressure on all these points. I can double juice it here. What's that do? Nothing. Just go here. Max pressure. I could have gone queen d7 first. I can still go queen d7 though and then take. I still have queen d7 here. What's going on? I also have f4. I don't want to take to rook f5. Um, queen d7, queen b1, I think. If I take rook f5, queen d7, three. I think I just take. If he takes, I go here maybe? Hit the queen, I have b5, remove the knight from the defensive square. This is my idea, at least. Because if I had done it right away, it goes queen b1 and takes this one. Whereas now I get to remove the knight. Does rook a5, then just b5 looks bad. That's the b5, kick the knight out. Actually, where's this knight going? This goes to a5 or something? Knight b6? Does this really work? Um... Go. Shoot. Let's go. Let's go B four. That's probably wrong. Go. There. Moving too slow this game as well. Still a game, maybe. I feel like I'm blundering something obvious here. If I take, oh, I can make a draw. A draw is not good enough for me here. This is the problem. It's not good enough. I have to gamble and, and hope that he blunders somehow. It's not good enough. Okay, I have to gamble and pray. Check to go over. Push. I, I should have checked and gone over. Here? He's misplaying this though. Here? Maybe just 
here. Here. I think I'm gonna win the game now. Here. Here. Let's go here now I win. Checkmate. Okay, we got the win. Terrible, but I got the win. Somehow I win because he, he he misplayed it. That was obviously a draw for for many many chance many opportunities he had to make a draw, but he didn't he didn't play it correctly. Get the win. Okay, we moved to six and a half out of eight, but I still have to win my last two. Still have to win two more. He knew he didn't need the win too. Yeah, actually, that's probably why he played on because he needed the win to have a shot to qualify as well. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, found a way. We keep going. Okay, so we have, um, what do we have? We've got a bunch of games still going. Ali Reza, no, Anish is playing. What's happening to the Anish dude? Anish is making a draw. Or is it, wait, H3? Knight B4, Knight, I mean, I think this is still a draw, right? Knight B8? King F6? Okay, but now it's a draw because Knight B4. Anish blunder, draw. Of course it's a draw. It's Anish. Do we expect anything less from Anish? Honestly. Do we expect anything less from Anish? Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Do we expect anything less? Of course Anish draws. Um, typical. Typical Anish. Um, Anish never draws. I know. He never draws. Yeah. <laughs> he never draws. <laughs> okay. This is what? Round nine. It still must win. Um, I feel like it's... No, actually, Zoria plays Karo Khan. I don't really want to face that in a must win, so I'm going to play Knight F3. Do something slower. Three things in life death, taxes, and on each drawing. True. Okay, let's go E3. I'm going to play C4. I'm just going to play B3. Play more slow stuff. Slow slow business here. Okay, does this. Okay, go C4, D4. This is. I'm actually happy to see. Okay, I'm, I'm actually quite happy to see this. So I can just. Do I take or not? Um, I think I just castle. I want to keep pieces on the board here. So I'm going to go here and here. Okay, he's playing this pretty dry line. Let's go here. I'll play bishop d4, of course. Knight e5, rook c1, queen e2. d1, rook c1. Pretty standard stuff so far. Um, I thought it was a meme, but on his stats, he's actually drawn way more games than he's won or lost. No, he's drawn a lot of games. But I think that's probably because his rating is shot up so fast. His rate, he got really good really fast, so he didn't have a lot of games sort of um, in like this 24-2500 GM range. Thank you to I Love Fisting Frogs for the Prime. Thank you to Techno Junkie for the Prime. Thank you to Emo Matt for the Tier 1. Thank you so much. Thank you to Celtic Frost for the 5 as well. Thank you to COVID-19 is a shell for the uh, 2 months. Thank you so much. Um, I can take, I can also move the bishop. <laughs> Let's go rook d1. I guess I just take. Sorry, you guys, one second. Okay, I hit this. I have queen b5. If queen a5, I think I'm just going to gambit this pawn. So I can go rook a1. I control the file, which actually is quite dangerous here. I'm probably slightly better because of my control of the open line here. My rooks are well placed, his pieces are not super well placed. I 
play knight e5. I can also go queen c7, but I think I probably play it slow. Do I play it slow or do I go queen c7? I think I should just play it slow with h3 here. I've got knight e5, but I really just want to bring... I, I want to create luft for the king so I can always go like queen c7 at some point. It might be too slow playing for luft, but it seems logical. Okay, I kind of thought he might do that, but that didn't seem right because I thought I could come back here. Hmm. I have queen before here maybe, but I think I just go back because now I now I sort and I protect so I can I can fossilize his queen. He goes queen e4. Okay, interesting. So trade trade. Rook c7. He's got e5. So if I trade, no, this is a mistake. I blundered this. Ah, let's go. Let's go back. I'm probably gonna play queen b4 or something next move. Got to do something because again, a draw is not going to cut it. I have to win every game. Okay, I saw. I figured I could take though. I felt like there's got to be something here. I don't believe him. If it's no good, it's no good. But I just, I, I don't believe him. So if e5, I just take. If knight e8, it's no good. If knight e5, I just eat the. Po okay, yeah. So clearly, he's he's admitted that he's made a mistake here by playing rook a6. The only question is, can I punish him somehow? I think I just take here and here. Oh, but I took in the wrong order. I gave him 90. Ah, I took in the wrong order. No, maybe I didn't though. Because I can still take and go rook d4 and knight g5. So takes, takes, knight e5. Okay, wait. Well, first, first I should take for sure. Okay, let's think. Rook d4, rook a1, king a2, knight f2, rook f, knight g5. No, rook f4. Go four, rook f8, knight g5 is winning. Check, king g3. Knight e5, rook f8, f3. Okay. I think this has to be good. Oh, he's got knight c5, I just realized. He doesn't actually have to go for the jump. Maybe knight e5 first is probably a better move. Or I can blunder. Okay, but now... Now I have to go here and knight e5 on the spot. He has to play rook f8, I think. And now the question is, can I go rook e7 or can I go knight e5? Knight e5, knight f2, rook f7, f2, rook b4, got rook e8, rook d5, e7, knight g2. I think I do this, I think I'm winning. Now I play not rook d4, I go rook b4. Because rook d4 allowed a knight c5 trick. So rook f5 takes rook e8, knight f7, rook e4, knight e6, rook f7, trade, 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 I'm up a juicer. And I think I'm winning. And if rook d2, I can still take on e4, yeah, I think I'm winning. <laughs> I think I'm winning, yeah, I take. Knight f7, if takes, I fossilize him. If he takes, I trade into the end game. Yeah, I fossilize him. And if he takes, I just trade and I'm up a pawn. There we go, yeah. Resigns, there we go. Good win, good win. Because if he takes the rook, I go check and I fossilize the king and I, I win the rook next move. And if he plays rook f7, I just trade everything down and I just have an extra juicer. I've got four against twa. So I have four against three and I'm winning. All right, I got to run to the restroom, so I'll... Okay, so we're on seven and a half out of nine, big tie, a lot of games still going. Let's watch this game. This game was drawn, Dretch and Ominous. So what are the standings, I guess? Two people on eight out of nine, one on eight and a half. How many on seven and a half is really a question. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, let's see, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So there could be six people who get to eight and a half. So there is no guarantee that I qualify necessarily. Um, I'm in the middle, which is probably okay in terms of the tie breaks. 
uh but it's not fantastic thank you cw55 cw for the 21 months thank you so much man appreciate it thank you um and no i did not skip school to play chess thank you again to ave for the six dollars when am i jumping from the roof of a trampoline i'm trying to sort that out i'm gonna do that at some point when i'm out here if um if it's possible yeah if i win i get to eat and have i'm just saying there's no guarantee i'm gonna qualify since i'm middle of the pack on tie breaks my tie breaks are very sketchy um but yeah we're, we're we still go again Okay, we played Daro round nine. I think I should just play Knight F3. Probably just play, I mean, yeah. I think it's right. I think it's right to play Knight F3 against him. I don't know for sure. But I think it's right to just play something slow because slow is better for keeping the game going, for grinding it more. Um, now, do I want to play E3, C4, D4? I can, that's drier. Let's play for more imbalance with G3 here. I'm gonna be more imbalanced here. I'm gonna be more imbalanced. Yeah, he's on 8 out of 9, so a draw is fine for him as well, which I need to keep in mind. Um, which is why I play for more imbalance here. I play for total imbalance by playing playing like this. Okay. I can play 95. I can play... I'm just going to go E3. Play is very, very slow. Just try to get as much of a mess as I can in this game. If takes, I take with the knight. I'm definitely going to take for imbalance or maybe play A3. I'm going to play a3 for imbalance, because now no knight b4s. Uh, tiebreakers look a lot better. Yeah, but I still have to win the game. That's the bottom line. If I don't win, it do it doesn't matter. Okay, plays queen b8. Um, now, do I really worry about this push? I think I'm going to take for imbalance, because imbalance is always good. He probably should take with a pawn, but he takes with a knight. Okay, so I go knight c4. Ah, he wants bishop f6. This is what he wants. I can play e4. It's not best, but I'm going to do it because I need imbalance. He wants bishop f6 just to make a draw. So that's why I've got to play like this. Let's go here, bishop a6. I'll play knight c4. b5, knight e5, of course. Oh, thanks. I actually don't know what that is, but thank you. Let's go here. Because I can trade and go here and then plop. I mean, I'm liking my position more and more with every passing move. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's like, so Ali Reza draws. I'm on 41.25. I'm guessing a win gets me in. That's my guess. Wow, I was not expecting that. Okay, now the pawn is a little bit soft. I think I should still trade. Pro I mean, he wants to go back. 91, he has 94, so I don't really have a choice in the general sense. If I play f4, f5, it's going to go knight c6 back. Um... 91 can't be right. Do I trade? 4.96. How do I create imbalance here is the problem. I gotta play both clock and board. Five ninety. I think I'm just gonna go for it. Let's just go all in. This probably is no good, but I'm going all in here. Let's go all in. Queen g4. Just all in. Because if bishop f6, I just trade and he's got a soft pawn. He can't take of this. This probably is no good, but I've got to go all in here. Win's the only result that helps. Okay, plays queen e5 logical. Still though, that doesn't create threat, so I can take... I think I can also just go rook f1. It's got check, but I take and take the pawn, so it's still fine. I'm probably sidestepping with my king when he plays rook f8 or bishop f6. So there are no longer any discovery ideas with these checks. I think queen e5 is a bad move though, because I can just sidestep with a king. And once he loses the pawn, or once I create these threats, the queen is on a bad square going forward. So he also can't move the knight because of all the threats. I think queen e5 was a big mistake. Okay, now do I go king h1 or do I take? I think I just sidestep king h1. If takes, I just take with the knight because he can't recapture because of the pin. Maybe he goes to h5, but I think h5 is a little bit dangerous. At the very least, this is all I can ask for. Something that's messy, unclear, and wild. Maybe rookie one was better because of h5, but whatever. 
He plays rook f8, so I'm gonna go rook e1. Now there are no captures because I always have this capture, and I can move the queen. I think h5 was maybe really good for black. I didn't do it though, so now I can play queen h3 here with knight g4. I think queen h3 is a good move. Is it bishop g5? Uh, b4, no. Queen d1. Where is the queen best place? Let's think. Probably best placed here because now I have b4 levers to hit this diagonal. Queen h3, knight g4 was also reasonable, but I think it's best placed on this diagonal towards the king. So if c4, I just take. I think I'm winning here. Okay, now I think b4 is probably very strong. Let's go for it. Because takes, I go queen a1, and I hit this diagonal. Okay. Now I have knight c2, maybe. Let's go here. I'm way up on the clock, so this is good too. Guess I take. Okay, he's using a lot of time, which is also good. Okay, a5. So if I take, he takes. I have f6 maybe? Bishop d6, and then I have no continuation. If I take, I have queen a1. I can also just take. If I just take and take, I think I do. Yeah, I think I just take and take. It's just a pawn, why not? The h4, queen g4 looks strong, so let's just work up 4. Although he's got bishop d6, which I forgot about. Ah, okay, I'll go here and take. I think I just. Hmm. Not happy about what just transpired. Take. C2. Wait, what? Wait, let's so take. Okay, let's think. Rook, rook f2 is probably fine. I just need to get some way to wind out. Let's see. C1, rook c8. Okay, a6 takes e f5. Probably good. Let's go. Bishop a8. So he puts the bishop on a bad square. Rook f2 is no good. Rook c1, rook c8. Um, how do I. Like here and just take. Oh, I missed that. Shoot. Let's go here and take. Okay, I can take f5. Okay, I gotta move. Just gotta move. Just gotta move. Shoot. Oh man, I blundered this. I blunt. Oh, come on! Let's go! Oh, let's go. There we go. There we go. Get the win. Checkmate comes in one move. And um, that's game over. Alright. <laughs> okay, okay. Um... All right, I get the win, eight and a half out of ten. Oh man, found a way, found a way. That was pretty, pretty rough. Um, the thing is, I saw it coming when we traded. Thank you to Ron Modi for the five gifted, because I also have this checkmate too. Same, same box in this order. It's actually a draw here. I think if he doesn't take, he can actually take f five and probably it simplifies. But he blundered the mate, and it works. Thank you to CW55CW CW for the 10 gifted. Thank you so much. That was good. Love the reaction. Thank you. Um, wow. Okay, we win. We win. So now we're now that means we're headed to uh, the final eight. I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely in the top top eight. Okay. Wow, that was ridiculous. So I think I guarantee myself. Um, I think I guarantee myself like 125 sandals by making the top eight, and now we go for victory. The comeback from the ashes, I was completely finito, and I won four in a row. So now now, now we're in the last eight. So um, we're in the last eight. Oh, does Daro still qualify? He might still qualify. <laughs> I think he's still going to qualify and finish eighth, even though he lost the game. Um, he might be... Wow, he's going to be the one guy on eight who qualifies. Somebody gets through on eight. That's amazing. Wow. Wow, he still gets in. Konovets is still playing? Okay. Um. Okay, Konovets. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. One of these. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. SpaghettiO. Check. Check. This is a draw now. Check. This is actually a forced draw. Check and check. 
check. And then check. And this is actually going to lead to a force draw. Check. I don't like queen h1. Okay. He blundered it. Now, like, I think queen a2 is king c5. King d5. I think this is a draw. Back. King e4 now. Check. King e5. This should be a draw with correct. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. This should be a draw with correct play. Um, although he blundered this kind of, yeah, now this is winning, I think. Now this is winning um, for black. Just queen b3, or, yeah. Wow. He blunders it and he loses. Crazy. Crazy game. Anyway, so that means that one is over. So I think, where do I finish? I finished fourth, so I'm going to play big fish, it looks like. Okay, yeah, Daro is out now. Daro is out. So, um... Yeah, he is uh tenth out of out of it. So he yeah, rest in peace, Dar. Yeah, he's out now. Um So it takes eight and a half. Looks like Parham gets Parham makes it the odd guy out this time is Ominous Omen. I think 32 and a, 32 and a half tiebreaker. Um so Parham makes it, so I play Big Fish in, in round one. Um one plays eight, two plays seven, three plays six, and four plays five. So so I play Big Fish, Konovitz plays Chess Warrior, or no, sorry, Feruja plays Chess Warrior, I think, and then Konovitz plays Sib Elephant. So, going to be an interesting finish, uh, eight, eight of us, um, and we keep going. Oh, keep going. At least at least we make it in the top eight, because that really was unlikely. No, I don't play Feruja. Um, I play Big Fish. 